hey what's up guys so in this video i'm going to teach you how to install a uh, mac os on your windows computer so to do this uh you need to uh check some requirements to make sure you're eligible for uh this to do that the first thing is to check the configuration of uh the computer you have the windows pc you use and uh, one of the important thing is that your computer must have to uh support you uefi boot if your computer doesn't support uefi boot definitely is not going to work on your pc that's one of the important no matter what uh size of ram you have what size of processor your computer runs on must have to support uefi boot if it doesn't have uefi boot then you have to look for another pc so then the second thing is uh you have to have a minimum of four gig ram and your processor must have to have a minimum of 1.6 gigahertz right? so the second thing is you're going to need a software named transmark so transmark uh, is a software premium software that you have to buy a license to have uh, uh, the full uh, experience features of the software though it has a free trial of 15 days and then anytime you run if you are using the trial anytime you run it you have to wait for 10 seconds countdown before the software will uh, run so if you take a look at uh this is my pc and this is the software i was talking about transmark trial so this is the trial version anytime you run the trial version it's going to uh count 10 seconds so as you can see there so after the 10 seconds come countdown it's going to uh give you the open button the run button here which uh will allow you to uh open to access the software so after uh, i'll advise you i will recommend you guys to check on hacking touch um website to check all the requirements uh your your pc should have before you can use uh the the Niresh mac os on your windows pc so after installing this transmark on your computer you have to download the um, image that is the operating system you want to use so in my own case i already have a mojav version downloaded already so i don't have to download another one so this is 6.08 giga gigabyte so let's say you don't have this I'm going to leave a link in the video description to Hacking Tor Shop website where you're going to download the free torrent for any version of Mac OS you want. Is it a, we have different version. Is it that you want uh, the Mojave version, which is the one I'm using for this tutorial? You you can download the Catalina version. I I have the Catalina also. This is it on my desktop. You can. Um, download hysera mountain lion anyone you want to use um if you visit that link it's going you are going to see all the versions of the Niresh uh mac os so you can download the torrent from their site so this is how the torrent looks like this is how the torrent look like it's just 122 kilobyte so you're going to if you are using system you can download uTorrent for free and then uh you run or you run the torrent or you import it and then it will start downloading and if you want you can also use phone you can download uh toadroid or you can download uTorrent for android so you just import the torrent and it will give you access to uh the complete files as you can see in this folder here it's going to give you access to the wall file so that's how you're going to uh, get the dmg file so after getting the dmg file you save it on your computer and then you install the transmark the trial version is going to give you 15 days so let's assume you are a um, huge user maybe you use it every time or you just want it to you just want to experience the premium version i'm going to show you a trick on uh, how you can get rid of this trial and you have it unlimited 
so in doing that you have to need the transmark activator i'm going to leave uh, a link to the to the activator so here is the transmark activator if i run the transmark I will have to wait for 10 seconds for this to run and I only have the 15 days trial which I don't want 15 days I also don't want to wait 10 seconds before I run it so I want to activate it to get rid of all those restrictions so what you're going to do is you're going to run the activator and then the activator will source the direct uh, the directory for your transmark if it doesn't get the uh, directory automatic so automatically then definitely you have to locate it manually so as you can see this is the directory here inside program files program folder the the 32 bit because i'm running 64 bits here so and then transmark transmark folder so this is the folder here and that's already located the folder so what you're going to do here is that you just have to click on the activate button here and you see program activated successfully so now i've uh, successfully activate the transmark anytime i run the transmark i'm not going to have that trial stops and i don't have to wait for 10 seconds as you can see it just run to the uh, interface to the dashboard automatically so that's the trick i use to activate my transmark so if you if you are interested in that you can simply visit the link in the video description to get your own transmark activation activator for free you don't have to pay a penny for that so now you're going to plug in your usb flash drive as you can see the drive d is my usb stick my usb flash drive so minimum of 16 gig so I've removed that now. So I have to close this. Slot in my USB. Slot in my USB flash drive. Then run the transmark again. All right. So this is if you click, if you tap on it like this, you see it will ask for administrative administrator privilege. If you click on yes, it's going to restart the transmark so that's normal it's going to close and then run again that's normal there's nothing wrong with that so if you click on the usb it's going to show you no mark hfs volume found so it's normal also what you're going to do is you're going to drag your cursor your mouse to the usb stick until at least it changes to uh, a pointing finger pointing on the flash drive then you left click on that and then you come to restore with this image it's going to give you this which says these discs may contain mounted pc volumes restoring over it them are you sure you want to continue yes so it's going to give you this uh panel this pops which says this image to restore so here is, you are going to select the uh dmg file the the mac os image you've already uh downloaded from the torrent so mine is saved in the in my drive c this is then you open it and then you tab on ok so as you can see restoring image to disk this is going to take a while depends on uh the speed of your computer so we have to wait a little bit for this sometimes in some systems this takes about 20 minutes in some system it takes just 10 minutes and some take 15 minutes or 30 minutes or so depends on your flash drive speed of your usb stick and speed of your uh system so now i'm going to pause the video in order not to make it uh, too bulky and long because if the size gets bulky is going to be hard for me to upload for you guys to use so i'm going to pause the video whenever this uh get to end i'm going to uh, continue and then show you what is next to do so see you on the next uh step all right guys take a look at this so as you can see the transmark give us uh 
the success message saying restore completed so whenever you get this message after the long waiting time this means uh the dmg file has been restored on your usb flash drive so now you can safely remove the usb and mind you this usb uh this usb is now ufi and will never work on uh any windows um operating system whenever you plug it most of uh, sometimes it's going to the windows is going to dictate the uh, usb drive as a corrupted and so ask you to format the drive do not panic everything goes uh, went successfully as far as you didn't get any error uh by the transmark telling you that it fell and definitely everything uh went successfully you don't have to um you don't have to bother yourself with any message shown by windows simply because uh these uh efi being mounted on the usb drive is for mac so if you want to verify that you just close the transmark and run it again if you look at my computer there is nothing like the flash drive here which means um uh, the computer doesn't dictate the flash drive so wait for my transmark to show up and then we'll see if really the drive is corrupted or not Well, let's not waste much time on this. As far as you get the success message by Transmark, so you can remove your flash drive and prepare for the next step. So what you guys should uh, note here is that if you go ahead and uh, if you go ahead and install the Mac uh, operating system, it's going to erase your entire drive so what you should do is that you should if you have 500 uh, gig hard drive you should consider um, shrinking the device that is you make a partition you remove a partition from that 500 is either you remove 150 gigabyte or you remove 100 gigabyte depending of uh, on which um, size you want to make the other drive the other partition so you shrink it from the current drive so that you it you won't alter your data on the drive so after me if you take a look uh, at my drive now i have 500 gigabyte hard drive in this machine and the one active right now is just 250 gigabyte so i divide the drive into two five uh, 250 each so i now make one uh to be the mac os and then the other one to be the one with windows on it so that's how i did mine so you can decide to do your own like that and if you want to use the wall 500 or you want to remove the entire drive and use another one you can do that so that's it for now now after setting up everything you can now proceed you can now off your computer and then boot to bios change the boot from legacy to ufi and then continue the installation now in the next video i'm going to um, show you how to change the settings in bios and to proceed with the mac os installation